What's more easy to create trees than adding a simple curve, shape it as you want, then drop on it a geometry node with a tree generator? Awesome, right? In this video, I brought to you the best custom tree generating tool in Blender, and it's all for free. With this tool, you can create a base shape with curves, then turn it into fully customizable trees in one click. You have in the settings all the properties you need to create the tree that fits your project. Now before we start, if you're new to the channel and want to get more dope free stuff, subscribe, because we shared not one or two, but over 300 free tools and assets, and it's all in one place. So check out the description box. Inside the main file, you will get a number of pre-made trees. They also customizable if you want to edit them. You have the trees organized in one collection alongside other objects. So let's hide everything and start new. I also don't need the sun lamp, so hide it or delete it. Now with Shift A, add a Bezier curve. Hit Tab to open edit mode and hit X to delete everything. And why we do that? Because we can with the drawing tool make any shape, then turn it into a curve. Once you settle on a curve line, get back to object mode with the same tab key. After that, we can add to the curve a geometry node modifier. In the modifier, you will find the tree generator node. So just select it. By now, you're probably asking from where should I get this? Well, it's available on Leo Ambrosini's Gumroad page. So big shout out to the author. It's all free up till the moment this video was made. So if you have the time, get it and put it on the side, it might go premium. You're required to have Blender 4 or above to run this smoothly. I don't have any knowledge regarding the license for this, so you can check with the author if you want more infos. Back to the scene, let's go through some of the settings on the right to see what we can do with this tree. First, you can go into edit mode for the curve to edit any point or rotate any corner to fix your tree. On the settings side, you have on the top a viewport proxy button. This one option is so powerful if you're dealing with trees. With this, we can view the trees as low poly objects and keep the viewport light and smooth. The settings are well put and explained, and that would be so helpful for beginners, especially the ones who are new to Geonodes. You will see some common values, such as seeds, iteration, length and density all around the generator section. Pausing your cursor over any of those values might give you a briefing of what it can do before you go crazy with the numbers, and you have like four or five main ones in the tree generating section, and as we said, it's all similar in other sections, so try them all out. The tree is fully textured and with a default unwrapping, so I don't think editing the UVs on it should be an issue. The second section have a quite number of values for you to control your tree, and I find the gravity one to be super cool. With this, you can go from a small bush shape to a swamp tree look. You also have the displacement and the tapering for the tree trunk, and this can help adjusting the need between close shot trees and background ones to get more detail controlling. Then you have the branches and twigs section, similar settings, so same same. Here you will notice the growth option. This one is quite nice for trees animation. I mean simple ones, like you can with two key frames make a tree growing animation, and I know it is a bit rough but you can edit it and make it more natural with mixing growth values and some cam movements. The roots are there if you need them. Now by default, they are off. So you need to increase the count number to add them. After that, 
You can control the root length, radius, and play with the seeds to get the shape you like. Nothing new. It's the same settings, so you just need to go with the numbers and see where it takes you. The leave section is where things become heavy, and here is no exception, but it's cool, so just go with caution. We start by enabling the leaves, and you have the option to add not one, but two different kind of leaves on the tree. Kinda weird. Still possible. Once you're done with the first leave area, you have the option to assign another one in the empty leave two field. Then you increase the density to make them appear. And you probably noticed that the leaves are low poly in close shots, but from far, it won't look any different from high poly ones. At bottom, we have a couple of options to add details on the tree trunk and branches, and also the instance option to check if you want to convert the tree to mesh. That's about it. From here on, you can use this in any project you have. Say you want to scatter trees in a background scene, you just add the geometry node for distribution on the surface you have, then drag the tree, which is the curve we made at the start, to the geometry nodes area, and connect it to the geometry instance. Make sure you're not scattering hundreds of them at the same time, cause it will be heavy for low-end machines. Using the proxy option before working would be wise. However, with multiple trees, say like, if we want to use the default collection of trees we got in the file, we either go to the trees one by one and enable the viewport proxy option, or make it show as a proxy inside the distribution's geometry node. We shared the last method in a previous video, so you can get back to it. Links are down in the description. And that's it. Like and share, if you care and see you guys in another video. Stay sharp. Goodbye.